What is going on guys? Welcome back to another MLB The Show 17 video and today is a special one because I know it's going to help a lot of people trying to get more stubs in the game as the title says one of the best ways if not the best way to make stubs right now in the game and even in the future of the game. But right now is the perfect time to start heading into the community market guys if you're looking to make some serious stubs. Oh my god. Okay, as we speak right now, something just sold for me. I am now at 78,000 stubs, and I'm going to show you my completed orders right now. Just to show you guys, this is legit. Okay, so earlier at 3.06 p.m., I bought Joey Votto at 40k. You see that right there? And then just now at 7.09 p.m., we sold them for 78k. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Right now, too, since the market is starting to be to be flooded with players, this is the best time to do it. As you can see right here, I mean, you can do it with diamonds, gold, silvers, but since I just have I have enough stubs to do it with the diamonds, I'm doing it with the diamonds. But this way, right here, as you can see, there's there's spreads. There's a buy now and a sell now, guys. And let's let's go to the Joey Votto that I just bought and sold. And you can see the difference there. 45k, sell now, 78k, buy now. So if you wanted to do this method, what you would want to do is go into buy sell options and then buy for just above the 45k. Now you got to remember the market takes 10% off. So you got to take 10% off your profit once you sell it. But for example, what you want to do is buy low, sell high. So... How you want to do that is you'd want to do a create buy order. So the lowest right now is at 45k for the buy order. So we'll go just a little bit above that at 45001. Alright, finalize that order. And it's posted. Now at this point, I, I forgot to mention earlier, you have to be patient with this method. But I mean, I bought that Vado earlier and then went and did something, came back, it, it went through. And then I put it in the market. And right before I started this video is when I put that Vado in the market. And it sold right away. So it, within a 10, 10 minute sp span, that Vado sold. A lot of people want these diamonds right now. And it looks like someone's trying to snipe it right now because it's changed to 50k. So we're actually going to take that out of there right away. Don't want to mess around with it right now. But I could still make a good 10k profit if I were to buy it at 50k Okay, though, but like this Paul Goldschmidt, forty-two thousand. You see the spread there? That's a twenty thousand stub spread. Even with the ten percent off at sixty-two thousand five hundred, that's six thousand two hundred fifty off the ten percent, which still makes it about a fourteen k profit. I know it might sound confusing right now, but all you really need to know is the spreads. There's a huge spread. And all these right now, especially the diamonds. But if we go over to the gold, guys, the spreads aren't too good, but they're much cheaper. So that means the 10% won't be as much. So the way the way you can break it down for the percentage, for every 10,000 stubs, 10% would be a thousand stubs taken off. So if you were to sell something, let's say if you were to sell Justin Turner at 10k. The market would take 1k away, leaving you with a 9k stub profit. But if you bought them at 8k, that means you actually only profited 1k. I know, like I said, it may sound confusing. I may not be explaining this very well, but like this AJ Pollock would be a good one to do. That's like a 5 to 6k difference right there. I'm actually going to do a buy order for AJ Pollock right now. Create buy order. What was it? 8,000 was the lowest. So we'll do 8,050. And hopefully someone sells it to us. And we can go ahead and turn it around for 12K if we wanted to. And if we go ahead to look at the the silvers, the silvers also, if you are don't have that many stubs to spend, you could also go to the silvers and do this. Like this Albert Pujols right now. 665 stubs. You could make about 300 stubs every time you do it with them. With Albert Pujols. And then once you get up. Oh something sold again already. Completed orders. Joey Vada. Wait no. We just sold him. 
Oh, I see what happened. I see. I saw what happened. I never put a buy in order for. I took the buy order away from Joey Votto. Got a little bit excited there, guys, because this is a, the real deal right now. This is the best way to make stubs in the show 17 right now. And before I let you guys go, I want to see if I can, I don't know, get something really quick here like this Miguel Cabrera. Buy the Miguel Cabrera at 48k. And then try to turn around and sell him for 70k. And that leaves us at 22,000 stubs. Oh my god, look at this Francisco Lindor. We should have tried to buy Lindor right now, actually. 36k for Lindor, guys. But if you have time, if the servers are good, this is the best way to do it. If you guys have any questions on how to do this, feel free to ask down in the comment section below. And I'm sure, like, people in the community can also explain this. But try to do it right now, guys, because the market will settle down pretty soon once everyone stops ripping packs over and over and selling and buying and getting their collections done. So that's the main reason for this. People want to get their collections done. They're impatient, so they're going to buy now right away. Or they get a card and they want the stubs right away and they're going to sell right away. Like, again, though, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, guys. If this helped you out, please leave a subscribe and like. Let's try to get a thousand likes on this video because I feel like this is gonna help out a lot of people right now especially the new new people that are playing Diamond Dynasty so again leave a like and comment and as always I'll catch you in the next one